All right, so Shashi Tharoor, a Congress Member of Parliament, has uh, now tweeted out something quite interesting around the Sengul controversy. Uh, he says the position of both sides is reconcilable. He says, my own view on the Sengul controversy is that both sides have good arguments. The government rightly argues that the Skepta reflects a continuity of tradition by embodying sanctified sovereignty and the rule of dharma. The opposition rightly argues that it's the constitution that was adopted in the name of the people and that sovereignty abides in the people of India as represented by parliament. It's not some kind of kingly privilege that is handed down by divine right. Let me go across to Pallavi Ghosh uh, who's joining us. So Pallavi, uh, Tarur there taking a slightly different stand from the Congress party. Yes, he's also saying there is no documented proof of any kind of transfer of power instrument from Mountbatten to Nehru. But if you simply drop that, he says this is a continuation of a civilizational uh, symbol that's being passed on. Well, Shashi Tharoor has always uh, to towed a line very often, I would say, which are completely different from what has been the official line of the Congress party, which is why uh, he's often seen, seen as someone who is not exactly a true congressman. And I think within the Congress party, many would object to this tweet of his. But he's making a point which many would say makes sense, is logical, that you may have differences, you may not agree with it. But at the end of the day, it's a parliament building which belongs to all. It is also a parliament building which belongs to all political parties because today, uh, they may be here today, it may be someone else, but more importantly, come the, uh, the monsoon session of parliament in July, is these opposition MPs who will obviously be sitting inside the new parliament building. And, you know, he's also an MP from a southern state. He also understands the significance of Sengol and also that there's no need for a needless controversy over it because it could hurt the religious sentiments and it could then hence on hurt you politically as well. So that's the reason why he's making this very fine balancing act on the entire issue. All right, let me uh, 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 thank Pallavi on that note and get in Arun Anand as well as uh, Professor Kapil Kumar on this. Professor Kapil Kumar, so basically what Tarur is saying is if you drop that red herring of this story of this being used as some kind of an instrument for transfer of power, he says it's possible to accept that this is a traditional symbol of power and authority and by placing this in the Lok Sabha, India is affirming the fact that sovereignty resides in we the people and through the people it resides in the elected members of the Lok Sabha. You see, what is happening is that the Congress has realized that it is on the wrong foot. So now they have to do damage control. So they have put in Shashi Tharoor to come out with this kind of a statement. Because they know now that after what has happened today, it will be very difficult for them to defend themselves in the public, the opposition which they have carried out on this entire new building of Sansad Bhavan, right from its inception, right from its foundation stone, right from the Ashoka symbols over there to even today. So one by one now they will try to do damage control. So Shashi Tharoor has come with that. Some And I think there is a kind of a division also between the loyalists to the dynasty. Because you will see Digvijay coming out with something else, Manishankar coming out with something else, and Tharoor coming out with something else, you see, which reflects what the uh, inner party dynamics is also there. In the, you may see what Gerard has to say. And then you may have to see what Pilot has to say. So these kind of differences and all these also will ref get reflected because each one wants them votes in their constituencies. And they have to go out and meet the people. It is not the Congress leader and all who will be uh, going to the people, but these people will have to go to their constituencies. And let me ask you another question. Mm. That monsoon session again will be jointly addressed by the president. So will they again boycott the president? Okay. So you see, this is...